August last year because this time last year I was lying on the sofa unable to move having herniated my lower spine. Absolute nightmare. And the doctor said, I think I've been lying out for six weeks, incredible pain. And the doctor said, you need to move. I thought, I can't stand, can't sit, can't lie, can't walk, what am I gonna do? And I crawled, literally rolled off the sofa, crawled across the floor, put my phone against the, uh, dialed in to Fruchi, it was your leg class, Fruchi leg class. And I thought, I'll give it a go. And so I was on all fours, which was quite comfortable, trying to lift my leg, it was, it was a mess. But that moving, worked yeah. so i can't believe it so literally fruit fixed my back it, it really worked so i then gained confidence and that started coming back to classes and it spiraled from then on um, there and to say my back's getting better but in the last two months i would say um it's got even better still because i've added in um pilates and yoga to my fitness regime mm -hmm which I think has been the final icing on the cake for my back. Trainers completely adapt it first off. I can't do that action, can't do that action, but they're starting to preempt what I need to do. And I'm sure that they are slotting in helpful exercises for me and my back. That's what it feels like. It feels like, it. oh, Helen's coming. I know she needs this. So I'm gonna, that's what it feels like is happening. And, and hopefully for everybody else in the class as well. So it's um, been very good watching my technique like a hawk so that I don't do myself any other damages. I'm mending my weights up and down depending on where I am. It's, it's brilliant. The individual care in a room of people is, is brilliant and making sure I don't injure myself and tweaking things has been fantastic. So yeah, really, really good on that front. The people who come, you're working in a club with everybody, all different sizes and shapes you're never doing anything at the same time as anybody so you're doing a station and then switch over so you can't don't really compare yourself to anybody else but it always feels there's always someone saying oh well done that looks great cool and you can do it if you see someone sort of you know struggling a bit so it's it's just and the the banter is fun it's fun it's really fun loving classes i started off as you know doing probably two classes a week it gets a little addictive because the half hour classes they're fun everyone's friendly you're skipping around you feel great they're manageable you think oh i could do another one this week as opposed to an hour class so you think oh i'm gonna need a, a month off for this so, and then i did three classes a week I think for the next year and this year I've signed up for Unlimited mainly because like all of the trainers so much that I couldn't choose between them so I now have four classes um, a week and I do a different trainer each one of those classes where work out hard, move, have fun and, and keep coming, keep coming again and again and again um, because you want to come oh i've got half an hour now what can i do? i'll come in and see do a class oh look and because the classes are all day every day it looks like you can there is a class you think oh i've got a spare half hour there'll be a class at one of the locations that you can go to and if you can't get in there's a one online there's hundreds uh, in a week which is incredible really um cal on a monday doing a, um, a beastie session you know a real workout um, session and then martin does his online and, and movement and classes and, and there and i've got Kathleen tweaking my form and then i've got darcy putting extra weights on and and showing me how to lift properly so the, the combination is just absolutely fantastic and i think my fit i feel amazing and my fitness is going up like that the weight doesn't come off necessarily as quick for me but my shape is changing and i feel lean the builder who came around to our house the other day said to me gosh you must be really fit to do that and i thought yeah i am <laughs> the girls i've met in fruchi we have several whatsapp groups and we've found ourselves doing extracurricular activities as i call them and it's, it's always got another spin on it because you've got i call it fruchi fruchified we've all been fruchified so the example is we thought ah We'll go up Snowden, that'll be fun. Okay, so I thought, brilliant, we'll go up Snowden for charity, that'd be wonderful. Wh which route are we doing? I'm thinking, I'm ready to click standard. Oh no, the fruity ladies, we went multi-peak. Up and down four peaks on the way, of course we did. It's the kind of like-minded folk where we like to push ourselves, challenge ourselves and have fun while we're doing it. So it's the, the social events have been at, we went off to Poland, didn't we? To die. So we're, there's lots of socials um, and it, it's not always fitness. And we're trying to arrange in November a bottomless brunch with uh, 
as much as you can eat and as much as you can drink, so that's going to be a bit of a mess. But I like to work out hard, um, but I have really, really appreciated that the gentle classes are equally beneficial to recovery, to movement, to not damaging myself and, um, and to my base fitness. Um, so those low intensity ones, I would now say I'm a convert, are equally important in my week. Um, and actually, you, your body can't do two, three all out classes. You, you, you're gonna get injured. Doing the ones in between, um, fix your body, it feels, it really feels like. And then the Pilates and the yoga now are non-negotiable for me there because it knits you all together to do the other class as well so that then yeah it's, it's not an optional extra for me now i've tried it yeah. <laughs> so fuchi intense i'm really enjoying it we're on week four so the the fuchi intense was i think kindly set up because a few of us are doing events out outside the class and thought we're wanting some sort of progression and some strength training and some maybe targeting a little bit the events outside which is just amazing and so week four absolutely loving it um, it's clever fitting it all in in half an hour is one where you're doing your strength and your um, conditioning and your speed and your whatever and, and it then is progressing for I think 12 weeks before we then um, beat our PBs at High Rocks so yeah of course so uh, loving it it's, it's absolutely brilliant and again um, we've done the Fruchi Intense and other people who think oh I've got seven o'clock um, I, I can't do any other time, I'm going to come along. Oh goodness, it says Fruity Intense. But actually, again, as with all the classes, it's completely adapted to anybody who walks in the door. Mm -hmm. So yesterday, weights were added to the sledge for, for me pushing it, taken off for someone else having a go. Um, some people are up on the wall, some people are on the floor, some people are, you know, up the stairs. You can do any of the classes because everybody, trainers are really quick to um, adapt anything. I think um, for most people, I'd say, um, that cost might come into it as a consideration and, and it does for me a little bit because um, cost is a consideration for everybody at the moment. But I was again driving over here thinking, do you know what, how much would I pay a year to do, to feel, probably extend my life? How much would I pay a year? And I think the figure would be a little bit higher than I'm paying at Fruity. Not that you should put the fees up. So it's, it's a small price to pay and and I have to say it has probably come out in the wash actually when I'm eating differently and wanting to drink less and recycling some old clothes in my wardrobe. I reckon it's paid for itself um, all over. I feel like I've been fruitified I call it and Saturday summed it up for me a little bit. I was in the Outlook Centre, my husband's looking for suits said you know I'll just go off and I thought oh what am I going to do in the Outlook Centre I would have normally headed to Cadbury's probably but I thought right what am I going to do and before I knew it I'd been around all of the sports shops and I basically came out of the Outlook Centre with two hours of shopping with a pair of leggings and six pairs of sports socks and I was absolutely ecstatic so I'm wearing my, my socks now and um, you you've completely changed what you get excited about yeah, I would not have come back with a pair of leggings and six pairs of sports socks and thought that was a good time yeah. three years ago. So I think I've probably saved myself out of yeah, fortune on, on uh, clothes in the Outlook Centre. Shall I show you my 250 top? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go with that first.